Welcome to Second Opinion, the reviews show here on the Nexus. I am your host, Ian R. Buck, and today I will be talking about the JLab Fit Sport Earbuds. Find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO66. So my history with these earbuds is uh, a little bit complicated. Um, I have been using Bluetooth earbuds since fall of 2017 when I got the Pixel 2. Uh, That was the first time in my life that I owned a phone that did not have a headphone jack. Um, And also at the same time, I was uh, doing more biking on a daily basis, commuting to work every day. So using a wired earbuds was not really feasible anymore. Um, So I had to make the switch to Bluetooth. Um, I used the SoundBud Slims uh, at uh, Brandon Johnson's encouragement uh, for more a little more than a year. Uh, and then in February of this year, I was at PodCon 2, which was a lot of fun. Um, and while I was there out in Seattle, I ended up losing my uh, earbuds. They slipped off of my, my neck. They had been, you know, like... Um, hanging around my neck, magnetically attached to each other, and at some point they uh, slipped off and I didn't notice. And so uh, at, I was in danger of not being able to listen to anything while I was traveling around in Seattle. So I searched up uh, like the nearest Target, um, walked down to that, and uh, and went perusing around their, their aisles in the electronics section to try and find some earbuds that hopefully were going to be uh, satisfy me just as much as the sound buds do. So I was looking uh, looking around at there. They had a few different options for earbuds that were around thirty dollars, just like the sound buds. Um, and so I, I picked out the uh, the J Lab Fit Sport earbuds because they looked like they were the most uh, similar. And uh, and and I tried them out. Um, long story short. I don't like them as much as the SoundBud Slims. So let's get into why that is. So first let's talk about their durability and losability. So one of the things that really impressed me with the SoundBud Slims was that they came with a little pouch, um, which you know just makes it that much easier to store them safely in your bag or whatever. Um, and if you if you are very intentional about that, then uh, you'll never be in danger of losing them. The JLab Fit Sport earbuds do not come with anything like that. That it's just uh, just the earbuds themselves um, with their little cord. Um, and uh, by the way, these are the type of earbuds where it's it's you know the the two earbuds are connected to each other by a cord, and in line on that cord is um, the like volume control and a power button area um, that also houses the battery. Also, these earbuds don't like connect to each other with like a magnet or anything like that. So there's there's really no way for me to drape them around my neck when I'm not listening to them and like be assured that they're going to stay there. So I, I like I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with these things when I'm not listening to them. I can't drape them around my neck. Um, I can't easily like coil them up and stick them in my pocket because they're the the earbuds on the end uh, are just like two it's it's not the earbuds themselves but like the stiff wire area that g- leads up to the earbuds because um, we'll get into into the style of them in a minute um, but they they just they, you can't stick them in your pocket um, like where am I supposed to stick them in my bag uh, without a little pouch or anything like that I don't know it's it's not a good combination. So let's talk about the fit a little bit. Um, so the style of these earbuds is that they, they, they're they rubber nubs that go into your ear canal. Um, and they don't have like a wingtip design or anything like that to help stabilize them. What helps stabilize them is that they uh, have a kind of semi-stiff part of the cord that loops from your from where the earbud is it goes up around your ear uh, and then you know back behind your ear 
Um, and then after that, after that stiff part, then it just becomes like a normal chord that kind of uh, flops around as, as it will. Um, so the idea is that like you, you have this stiff part kind of mostly straight, you stick the earbud into your ear, and then you kind of form the uh, stiff part around your ear to kind of, you know, make it the proper shape for your particular ear. Uh, I have found them to be pretty darn uncomfortable. Um, they, when I f was first trying them out, they really kind of hurt. Like there was this hard plastic part that kind of pushed up against the area of my ear right behind my ear canal. Um, and when I was looking around at different versions of these online afterwards, while I was, uh, trying them out again for this review. Um, it looks like there's a new version, um, version three. I have version two that I've been testing out. Um, version three looks like it has a little rubber, like kind of padding in that area, which might mitigate that problem. Um, but also I realized, like I, I switched to a different size nub uh, with these earbuds and that did solve the problem of the hard plastic kind of pushing up against my ear canal. Um, but the the part that never really gets better is that the the stiff part of the cord that loops around behind your ear um that still like makes me feel sore after a while of having these in my ear because it's just it's this weight that like pushes down on um on the back of my ear kind of behind my my um what is the big elephant part of your ear even called i don't know back there behind behind your ear I've also found that these earbuds really do not want to stay in my ears. They slip out over time. And this is quite incredible because almost all of the earbuds that I have used over the course of my life, I have had no trouble keeping them in my ears. Um, these ones just, they come, they, they slip out over time. Um, I've tried all of the different size nubs that they come with. Um, none of them do a very good job uh, of, of uh, staying in my ears, which is a real shame. Um, I really do miss the wingtip design of the SoundBud Slims. All right, let's talk about the sound quality of these earbuds. Um, they definitely exceed my minimum threshold for sound quality. So that means that uh, I have not noticed any significant problems with them. Um, stuff sounds fine. They're not going to be, you know, they're not going to wow you with the with the bass. Um, I, I did actually notice that the bass didn't seem quite as, like, punchy as the SoundBud Slim. Um, but it's not, like, something that you're going to constantly uh, be missing while you're using these. As for noise isolation, I am a big fan of uh, headphones, of earbuds that uh, don't let in noise from the outside. Um, they've got okay isolation from the outside um though like i said earlier they do slip out over time which you know compromises that isolation pretty severely um i during one of my morning commutes there was a train going by and uh, that did make it difficult to hear the podcast that i was listening to through my right earbud Battery life. Um, it's it's quite good. I have uh, tested these for, I, I ran them for about two and a half days of use. Um, and that constitutes for me uh, my half an hour commute to work and a half an hour commute back from work. Uh, and then also during the day, I use them for probably be probably about an hour, maybe an hour and a half uh, of listening while to to music while I was uh, working in the staff lounge. Um, and uh, yeah, they they uh, did not I, I think they got down to maybe 50%. Um, but also, like, I, if I had wanted to do a more thorough test of the battery life here, I would have had to use these earbuds for much more time than I really want to because, uh, as I said earlier, they get pretty uncomfortable to wear over the long periods of time. So, um, yeah, the, the, this battery test is uh, not as comprehensive as it could be. Um, they do charge over micro USB, which is, uh, again, not my favorite, but not a surprise coming from a $30 pair of Bluetooth earbuds. 
For connectivity, uh, they have very good range, uh, about the same as uh, as the SoundBud Slim, about 10 meters, um, which is you know about what you expect from from Bluetooth devices. Um, it is interesting that the the cutoff point for these seems to be like much more well defined. Um, the instead of like the the earbuds instead of trying to play whatever kind of half garbled uh you know partial signal it's getting from the phone it will just li- like as soon as as soon as it becomes uh not like a viable signal it will stop playing um and then won't start playing until it starts getting a good signal again which is kind of an interesting quirk um i have not had any trouble connecting these to any of my various different devices switching between devices is uh as seamless as you can expect from a bluetooth uh, device so no complaints there the cord itself uh they did add a little thing on it that um that's kind of unique um it's it's a it's a little like drawstring kind of um hard plastic element that you can manipulate uh, that you can you know slide it along the cord to kind of shorten the length of the loop if you want to um, which uh, can be could be useful in some situations if, if like the uh, cords flapping around too much and you need to shorten it up so that it it's uh, snug against like the back of your neck or something like that the cord itself um, is uh, not as like sturdy feeling as the soundbud slim um it's it's not the it's not like a a a thicker rubber casing around it um the way that the soundbud slim has and uh finally we've got i've got a few miscellaneous thoughts on them um (laughs) one thing that i really do not like as as a sound designer is uh i absolutely hate bluetooth devices that talk to you in order to tell you that they are connected or that they are low on battery or something like that um i i i feel that uh having these things talk is just kind of tacky um just use a sound cue right you know like uh, a few ascending notes do 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 to indicate to me that i am connected and um you know maybe something uh descending in in pitch to indicate that uh, it's turning off right um i don't need this thing to say goodbye to me uh jlab decided to do a really weird thing with these earbuds where like they will fade in whenever they detect that you've started playing sound um which is like Excuse me, JLab, don't don't mess with the sound signal, okay? This this device, these headphones are literally just supposed to be a a dumb like output device. Play exactly what is sent to your device, okay? Don't mess with it at all. Um I can understand the desire, like the reason why they wanted to do this, but it really, really does mess with um, the fact that like the podcast player that I use, and I think most podcast players do this, uh, they will pause whatever podcast you're listening to briefly when a notification comes through because it's a lot harder to understand uh, the spoken word when there is a notification sound playing over it right and so so you'll get um with these earbuds what will happen is you'll be listening it'll pause you'll hear a notification sound and then the voice will continue talking but the earbuds are fading that voice in as as it's starting to talk so you can actually lose words uh in a podcast if you're getting too many notification sounds um whereas i have not had that problem with with other earbuds right when they just play whatever the phone is sending to them and that also comes into play amusingly uh when i was testing the range of these things right um it, the the sound would cut out because i got too far away from the phone and then when i got close enough to the phone again it was a little difficult to know exactly when i came back into range because it wasn't it didn't immediately start playing the music again at full blast it started fading in the music when i got back into range um which is just yeah it's it's goofy 
All right, final thoughts on the JLab Fit Sport earbuds. I don't like them. I don't think you should buy them. I like not at that at that price range. There are much better, very comparable uh, earbuds available. The SoundBud Slim from Anchor are still my favorite thirty dollar uh, pair of Bluetooth earbuds. So there you go. I I I honestly cannot think of a reason to buy these J Lab uh, earbuds instead of the Anchor SoundBud Slims. Like they they just they've got nothing going for them here. There are some things that are just as good as the sound buds but there is nothing that they do that exceeds the sound buds so yeah go and buy the sound buds and if you want to hear more about the sound buds uh go and listen to our last episode of second opinion that was uh uh the extra dimension tv slash so 65 is where you'll find that episode Thank you for listening to this episode of Second Opinion Reviews. I have been your host, Ian R. Buck. You can find me on Twitter as Ian R. Buck uh, or my website where you can find links to all the stuff that I do uh, is at ianrbuck.com. Second Opinion is released under a Creative Commons attribution license, so feel free to use any part of this episode as you see fit, as long as you link back to the original page, which again is thenexus.tv slash SO66. If you would like to discuss this episode with other listeners, maybe you have some Bluetooth earbuds that you use that you really like or ones that you don't like and you want to complain about, uh, come on over to our subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash the Nexus TV. And if you can support us financially as we continue to make tech-focused podcasts here on the Nexus, uh, go and join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash TV. And until next time, have a good one. The Nexus. The Nexus. The Nexus TV. Podcasts from, from the, the Technological, technological Convergence. convergence. Tech news is dominated by big, bombastic personalities. Developers! 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 Sometimes we're filled with awe. Wow! Yeah! Sometimes they throw shade. Toxic hell stew! Sometimes they inspire. Live, learn, and love. On our show, Nexus Special, we recap and analyze all the biggest announcements and keynote events in the tech world. Subscribe to Nexus Special in your favorite podcast player today. I got one more thing.